trade unionism, the great workers' movement of the 19th century. But the men who call for unity of the working classes exclude women and Chinese from their unions, scorning them as cheap workers. If the leaders of the Labour Federation had truly at heart the welfare of their working sisters, they would allow women to be incorporated into the men's unions. Trade unions would dispute, or force out of sight if possible, the right of women to enter the labour market at all. But women must have work, for there are thousands not depending on any man for support. In the clothing trade, conditions are desperate. Tailoresses take home hours of work after their long days in the factory, just to scrape a living. She must keep her mind on this work before her. She must stay here. She must not let her eyes wander. She must keep working. She must not think too often of the time. She must keep her eyes in focus. She must not think of where she would like to be. In the course of my rounds one day, I came upon a deserted wife left to support three children. She was struggling to make a living by making shirts for a factory at four shillings a dozen. She had worked all Sunday, had risen early on Monday morning and stayed up till midnight, working continuously, except for the necessary interruptions of meals and of dressing and undressing her children. Yes, Mrs. M wore a magnificent dress, the paper says. But it doesn't tell how our faces are ground, how we are crushed to get the gold to pay its price. Mrs. M was in rose-colored tulle. It set off her pretty complexion. The dye for the rose-colored tulle girls is our blood. Single women in the factories and married women in their homes are pitted against each other. Middlemen and manufacturers compete by cutting the women's wages down to starvation level. Six weeks ago, we were getting four and eightpence a coat, including an extra pocket. The firm tried to reduce the amount to four and tuppence, but we refused to accept it. They then took off threepence. Then they said they'd take off another threepence. And then we struck. We got some dodges printed, and in the darkness of night, two of us plastered the factories with them. The meeting that resulted was very successful, and was really the starting point of our improvement. <laughs> 